Hi, Denise. Hello. I'm very honored to meet you. Me too. You came here to work with the Israel Philharmonic. Uh, can you share with us uh, the programs that you are going to play with? with them? Uh, this time, uh, it's not an unusual program. We discussed with Maestro Zubin Meta two years ago, no, one year ago. And we play already a lot of Russian repertoire, for example, uh, Prokofiev concept number, number two, Tchaikovsky, Rachmaninoff, and many, many others. But this time, uh, mixed uh, in one part, Mozart Piano Concerto Number no. 17 and Burlesque of Strauss. It's a fantastic piece, not, not, not so popular, unfortunately, because mm -hmm. it's very, extremely difficult for ensemble, for the moving inside and the rhythmical and uh, very romantic pieces. Um, not, played not very often, and uh, I am really happy to, to play this repertoire because uh, this orchestra can play anything, <laughs> and maestro. <laughs> That's true. Absolutely. And, and you know, I wonder, what, which work do you find most challenging to play, or more challenging to play? The Mozart, which is less, maybe less notes, but musically it's always a challenge? Or For me, it's absolutely no different when I play Mozart or Rachmaninoff or Bartok, because uh, uh, Mozart one of the most difficult <laughs> That's why I asked. music for, for pianists, because it's very easy for, for hearing. But for play, it's uh, it's really difficult to to be to be very easy. Yeah, to find <laughs> this the is the problem. Yeah. yeah, but I'd like I would like to I like Horowitz Mozart. Horowitz Mozart is very very free, very romantic. But I think that if Mozart live now and have a modern instrument, yeah. he can play a lot of a lot of things, a lot of improvise inside his music, because... Uh, uh, you think there's I, a freedom there? Absolutely. Of course. Absolutely. So, you travel a lot, you work with many great orchestras and great conductors, and uh, how do you find the work with the Israeli Philharmonic at Maestro Zubin Meta? You've been here many times, it's, so... It's something special, because uh, I think that Zubin Meta is the last Mogikan and last Romantic. Uh, He's absolutely genius and absolutely uh, uh, incredible person to contact, to discuss, to play, of course, and we improvise on the stage. For me, it's a very important thing because, uh, uh, of course, we improvise without changing the yeah, notes. of course. And uh, I, I mean about interpretation, <coughs> because I think that we don't need any rehearsal. So because every, you... every time happens on the stage during the concert. So you prefer a more elastic approach when you come and you don't have anything nothing, uh, no, not, prepared, not, so exactly, you're locked. Nothing special before. Nothing locked. Absolutely. It's also it's, it's more Absolutely. intuitive. It's more... And orchestra can do anything because we move together. It's, it's a teamwork. And what happens if you go and you find a... and you work with conductor? <laughs> doesn't go with you. <laughs> I accompany You go with him? I accompany You go with him. Exactly. Okay. That's, that, that's because... It's possible many times. <laughs> I know that's what I ask. Yes. Um, so and, uh, and every time when I go to the stage with the Israel Philharmonic, I have a uh, uh, special in, in inspire because uh, uh, I never, never forget when I invite this orchestra in my own festival in Ir Irkutsk in Siberia. That's in where you Russia, come from? Where, yes, I was born there. It's an incredible place near the famous lake of Baikal with mm -hmm. very opening people. And uh, it was like bomb when Israel Philharmonic came only in Irkutsk in Russia. Wow. And go and back in the European tour. It was sensational because uh, people was extremely happy who been in the hall. It was unforgettable two concert, and uh, we jumped to Baikal. Baikal is the uh, um, deepest and cleanest lake in the world. You can drink this water; it's a fresh water, wow. and uh, uh, maximum deep uh, one thousand six hundred meters. Wow. Extremely cold. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Eight, <laughs> eight, eight degrees, something like that. And we go to the sauna before with Maestro, and with then, Ru Russian sauna, and jump and to jump, jump before jump. the concert. You can imagine. <laughs> it's good for the muscles. Absolutely. And energy <laughs> was after that incredible. Um, uh, so can you tell me, uh, what are, you, you've been here many times. Um, any special places you like to go here in Tel Aviv, rest, favorite uh, restaurants? But the beach or any, have, any activities that you like course, here? Of course, I have a lot of friends here uh, who lives uh, 
lives here and of course a lot of friends from the orchestra mm -hmm. uh, because the Russian part is very, very strong. Yeah. Uh, almost half, I think so. And uh, uh, of course a lot of restaurants and the uh, atmosphere. I like this atmosphere, very opening, very uh, friend, French, uh, friendly and uh, uh, I think that I feel very good here because for me, uh, you know, my, my season is uh, 245 concerts in a year. Wow. Uh, and I stay here one week without any flight, without any stress, because it's like vacation for me, this, this concert. And uh, uh, the best. Absolutely. For artists, yeah. this atmosphere I agree. in the orchestra, in the hall with the Israel audience is fantastic. It's have, have extremely big experience and uh, uh, I like this atmosphere, very friendly inside the rehearsal, inside the concert. And of course, I never forget when we go together with Maestro in his homeland in Bombay last mm -hmm. year when he was 80. Yeah. I never forget this concert because I have no words for that. Because atmosphere in the hall was... Yeah, very exciting. And probably. Bombay, Mumbai yeah. for me, I, I discovered this this city. country in this city. Tell me, you, you probably know that I think it's about 10 days ago, the 15th Rubinstein competition just uh, ended here on this stage. Yes. And there were really fantastic uh, uh, young pianists playing. I was uh, privileged to open the competition. I con conducted the opening Great. concert. Great. And um, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I know you won the Tchaikovsky uh, uh, competition yep. yes. and probably on the jury now. Uh, what do you think about uh, the young pianist? Should ev every young pianist should go through one of these competitions and, and then build his career this way? And if so, uh, how should he prepare? What is your tip for, for, for a young pianist? Uh, <laughs> if there is at all. Yeah, I couldn't imagine when I sit in jury in Chikov's competition because it's just 15 years ago I was on the, the other side. And, and, the, yeah. and uh, for me, New generation is very important things because I have a lot of my own festival. I'm artistic director, mm -hmm. and two youth competition also in Astana in Moscow. Oh. Uh, it's youth competition uh, because uh, I know this is group, this is team very well because I have my foundation mm -hmm. called New Names. A lot of gift young young piano musician uh, go through our family uh, and. Uh, in Russia, it's fantastic team, fantastic generation, and not only in Russia, in Israel too, in yeah. South Korea, of course, incredible generation, in China, of course, and Georgia, fantastic, yes. fantastic. So, and, uh, so, so you consider the, the competition a good way to build your career? Uh, depends which competition. Because no, the, the good for, for example, Tchaikovsky on Rubinstein mm -hmm. is one of the best. Yes, but well. after that, we for for the laureate and the opening, the uh, big chance for for career and. Uh, uh, in my competition, uh, Arya Vardy knows very well because I invite him uh, two times in my competition, mm -hmm. in jury. A uh, good friend. Yes, of course, a big friend and a legendary, a legendary yeah, yeah, professor I know, I know him and for uh, many years, artistic course. director of this competition. Uh, he knows this atmosphere and uh, 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 nobody lose, nobody, uh, you know, if, if some, uh, a musician came in the second stage mm -hmm. because first stage in video mm -hmm. selection and who came in the second stage mm -hmm. automatically play solo recital solo stage and with orchestra. with orchestra without any selection so in any way you win just five laureates and ten diplomats and the uh, 45 special prize including play with Gergiev, with Timirkanov, with Spivakov, the Bashmet, Verbier Festival, Martin Ekstrom came in, in the Rubinstein too, yeah, I know. Yeah. And uh, a lot, a lot of things because uh, atmosphere, the atmosphere, the big competition for for great musician, um, just one way to be on the stage. Yeah. I hate competition. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in, in a way, it's against music. Because exactly. music is something that you don't Absolutely. compete with anybody. You yeah. play like this, yes. and other pianists will be great, and you yeah. play differently, but... Exactly, but before my competition, I discuss with young young people, don't, don't think about jury, don't think about competition. Play recital, play, play the music. concert for the audience, yes. and play music, of course. 
And uh, this is different when somebody go out after the first stage. This is, of course, uh, each musician have a per person mentality, mm -hmm. and, uh, nervous and something like that. But unfortunately, competition just one of the best uh, opportunity to the to, to the build your international career. concert yes. stage. You know, I come from a musical family. My father is the one of the great jazz pianists here in Israel. He also played with many international uh, uh, figures, you know, like mm -hmm. Dizzy Gillespie and many others. And I had jazz in my, hound, in my house. Uh, as I grew up, it's another language, you know. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't resist it. I had to play jazz, although I'm conducting most of the time and writing music. And um, I know that you also play jazz. And, and I'm very curious about how did you get to play jazz? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, being a classical trained all, mostly classical trained pianist. I, I understood that that's not what I'm going to do, but... Hmm. I think that uh, my situation is very similar than you, because my father also, the composer, pianist, and jazz, also, jazz player too, so, of course. From and I'm hearing from my childhood <laughs> any recording, uh, signs uh, Oscar Peterson, Chick Corea, uh, Keith Jarrett, and uh, Garner, and uh, Art Tatum, of course, yeah. and um, I improvise, improvise, sign my... So also by ear? Exactly. Uh, same for without, me. Without any, same for me. any notes. Uh, Never thought. Only by, by ear, and uh, you, uh, it's a big help for classical musician too, because we improvise on the stage. What I, I what agree. What I mean about But you know, many, many classical musicians think that jazz is not serious. It's not true, it's not true. Because jazz is absolutely the same uh, serious, um, Genre. I'm happy you said that. Thank, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. I, but I think that jazz is not only music. Jazz is the freedom. Jazz is uh, right. not, not, not only thing. music. And the classical music, too. I think that Zubin Mehta, for example, the genius conductor, he's an extreme, fantastically jazz man because we improvise on the stage. We, we yeah. never, never discuss about interpretation before. Yes. Every time it happens on the stage during the concert. This is also jazz. Or say, I love you, some beautiful girl, right? Mm -hmm. And bring and go to Paris, something like that. It's, it's also, <laughs> also jazz, I think so. No, I understand exactly what yeah. you mean. The, the free spirit, the... the but of the... course, it's canon, a lot of uh, harmonical rhythm, of course, but this is not, not the first. Jazz is different. Okay, so thank you so much for thank this you. interview. Thank you, great pleasure to be here. And, and I'm uh, looking forward to your concert, you. me and all of us. And thank you for your recording picture. Oh, I hope you like it. <laughs> I, like, I like a lot of uh, crazy things. Yeah, it's kind <laughs> of crazy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you.